Okay, so we're looking for some decent software uh, for recording music and playing MIDI files. So we're going to go to a site called www.pcpages.com Into that, and there we are. And then we're going to do a search for a program called Macaw. M A C A W. There we go. Search. There we are. Macaw. Make sure it's uh, when you download. So here we go. It says free download, and we go ahead with that. Free download. Of course, set up. Make sure you know where you're saving the file. Make sure that uh, your keyboard and your MIDI interface, make sure they're all plugged in, maybe by the USB. Uh, make sure they're all plugged into your laptop. Switch on everything. Uh, switch on your laptop. And then we'll um, do the McCall setup. So here we are. Step two, accept. Now, this particular website is offering us uh, extras. Um, we don't want those extras, so we're going to decline. And uh, also, competitive offers, price peep, we're going to decline that. And then this one's a bit crafty. It's got install Mix DJ toolbar. Uh, things that you don't particularly want. Mix DJ is my default search engine, so get rid of those. And then go to next step. Okay, and uh, now we can open it. So we uh, double click on the setup file. Yeah, make sure that uh, no other horrible programs are installed without your permission as well. Um, I just had a program called WAJAM installed, so I had to uninstall that. But anyway, it says, Welcome to the McCaw's Setup Wizard. Next, I accept the agreement. And next. Next. Next, next. Okay, I want to create desktop icon. Next, and install. Now, my call comes with lots of free um, synthesizers built into it, and lots of sounds built into it, as well as uh, capability for handling external MIDI keyboards. Um, providing you have them linked, um, all sorts of things, it can record audio. So um, as a basic 
um, digital audio workstation uh, it's extremely versatile okay click on next and finish okay after we'd connected our MIDI interface, uh, in this case via USB, and for most people that would be via USB, then uh, we can begin. The first thing we need to do is to go to our control panel, sounds and audio devices. They have uh, much the same, and we need to make sure that we are playing um, sounds via uh, the correct inputs and outputs, Windows default, the audio. If you have, if you're lucky enough to have a, an integrated device for recording audio, um, then you can plug mics in there and then you would alter this to say, for example, Eddie Roll. But in our case, we're not doing any mic recording through um, the digital interface. We are merely uh, doing this via here. So hardware, yes, it's all there. Uh, the one thing we will need to do, though, is to go back here. And you see it says MIDI Music Playback. Well, we want to make sure that the default device is our MIDI interface. Once that's done, we click on Apply and click on OK. So we'll get rid of that now. 